level again. Uh, we're back here in Buster again. And what I'm doing, signing my Leatherman. Of course, before I send this one out, I had to wait until I got this one because I'm not going to be with that one. <laughs> because having one of these, if I don't have it with me, I feel like I'm like, like I'm naked or something. Okay. Here it is. Okay, there is my sign knife. And this will be going out to Ernie Roberts. I'll be putting that in the mail. What else do I have to do today? A couple of things. I have got some of this light, these uh, LEDs that are in a roll. This should be good for... Um, they're white. Um, this should be good for the under cabinet lighting and the indirect lighting in the bus. Sorry, Buster. And also for the bus, but I'm probably getting some more for Buster if I like these. I've got these LED, or yeah, they're LED headlights that are. box opens on the other side they are shaped like the standard what is that five by seven I think like five by seven headlight just a normal headlight that goes in like buster or zephyr either one anything that takes the standard it's just got two headlights in the front and they're square like this this will replace. Now I've already kind of tried them out with a power supply in the house and the low beam is just a little cross of lights here and the high beam is all of them and the high beam is pretty bright. Low beam is pretty bright too. Uh, I don't want to blind oncoming drivers so if the low beam is still too bright for what I like we're going to try to dim it down. Uh, you can see it's got heat sinks on the back. But those are a couple of projects I got. And all right. For right now, I'm going to go get this in the mail. And when I get back, I'm going to start working on the back. Okay, here we are inside of Zephyr. And, as you can see, I got these lights on right here, the extremely bright LEDs. But those are kind of overpowering. They, they shine right in your eyes sometimes. I mean, they're a great light, uh, but don't look directly into it because, uh, yeah, it's pretty bright. So what I'm wanting to do is under this lip... I've already got a strip of LEDs running across here. We'll put another on top of that. And then this will be like a uh, indirect lighting that will shine back against the windows and the curtains or whatever and not be shining in your eyes, but it will still light up the inside of the bus. Oh, also, I have the microwave here. Let me turn on my inverter. Microwave. And it works. Comes right on. So far, it's sitting there. I'm thinking the refrigerator is going to go right here. And then the microwave on top of that. Uh, right now, the microwave is just plugged straight into there. Uh, that will change because it's going to be on a separate circuit than the fridge. 
But for right now, just to have it in there, it's not bolted or anything. It's just pressure fit between this seat and this wall, and it fits perfectly. You just about think that I had measured for it, but I didn't. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do? We are going to take this, which is a roll of LED um, lights. Let me set this up on a tripod. Okay, what this is, you can get them in different colors, but I wanted white. I actually had gotten one before that had a little remote control with it, and you could change colors and uh, make it blue or red or make it flash or whatever. In some cases, that might be fine, but I really didn't like that. All I need is white light that will shine and illuminate the countertop. This will do that. You can even extend them with this plug, or it even comes with little connectors that you can connect them together with. Every three LEDs, there's a little spot like this. See, it's every three. You can cut. And you can make it any length that you want, up to 16 feet. Now we've got switch hooked up here, and you can see, I turned that light off so you can see it better, but you can see that it indirectly lights up the back. At night, that will really make a difference. Let me show you under it. Okay, you got switch and everything right there. Turn them on, and there they are. All the way down. And it even will light up the kitchen area. At night, that will make a difference. Yeah. Well, that has that little project. Okay. I also went ahead and changed out my headlights. There were three screws that hold these headlights in. There's a stainless steel ring uh, around them. There's four screws. I took three of them out, actually. Uh, I'm thinking I could have probably just done the bottom two and just folded it up, but I couldn't really get to the, third, the fourth one. So, as you can see, I'm trying it here, and I just couldn't get to it. So finally I gave up. Just folded the whole thing out. Headlight come right out, though. No problem. And as you can see, there is the old headlight. And there's the new headlight. And here's this kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of them right there. 
the new one looks a lot cooler. I have to admit to that. It's easy. It's it's an easy drop back in installation. It's it fits just like the regular headlight does. Of course, the ring goes back over. And once you get it lined up, you take your screws, put screws back in, and that pretty much has it all locked in. It all is pretty much self-explanatory. Here's the uh, plug that actually goes to the back of the headlight. Originally, it would plug into the back of the headlight itself. These headlights have a wire coming from them that you can plug this into. And here I am just kind of plugging that in. And it's a little tight to get to, and I'm also trying to stay out of the way of the camera. But there it is. All right. Now, just from looking at them with them off, of course, the new one looks cooler, but uh, when I turn the headlights on, you can really see a difference. The old one looks dim and yellow, and the new one is bright and more of a white light. And also, once you do hit the dimmer switch, uh, it actually just reduces it down. It doesn't, like, dim the lights. It reduces the number. There you go. It's uh, just a less number of lights lit up. But I'm thinking this is going to be a modification that I'm going to like. I have trouble seeing it at night anyway. There's both of them in. And they look pretty decent. We'll get to try them out tonight. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. And I guess uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.